Coming up on the Curry Report, we have UIL practice information you need to hear. And important video game club news you need to know. The Kirby Report starts now. What's up, Kirby? I'm Elijah. And I'm Rohan. Please stand for the pledges. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America <laughs> and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. You may be seated. We have some star students to tell you about Kirby. Great job to Nayara Hightower for being principled. Nayara was referred by Ms. Gallenberger. Jasmine Stewart was also referred for being principled by Ms. Mrs. Clean. Tamara Slaughter was referred by Mrs. Clean for being principled, principled as well. For all students in robotics, it is mandatory that you meet with Ms. Gallenberger on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Our regional competition is less than two weeks away and we need to make final adjustments to our presentations. It, if for some reason you will be unable to meet on either of these days, you are required to speak with Ms. Gallenberger to explain why. Tech for Teens will meet at 3 to 4 on Wednesday in Ms. Gallenberger's room. If you aren't already in Tech for Teens and are a 6th or 7th grader who would like to join, you can, you can this semester. We are going to work on more coding coming up with an app idea and designing it and more. Here's a look at UIL practices happening this week. There will be impromptu speaking and listening skills practice today and tomorrow from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Maps, graphs, and charts will practice today from 3.15 to 4 p.m. in Ms. Pulaski's room. Dictionary and ready writing will practice today and Friday from 3 to 4.30 in room C108. And spelling and editorial writing will practice on Thursday in Ms. Reams' room F101 from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Video Game Club members, this is for you. We need new board members to represent the general club population. If you are interested, see Ms. Hortz in room A140. If you have not joined the club and, but still want to, you, can, you still can. We still have sign-ups next week starting on Monday. Sign-up sheets will be outside Ms. Hortz's room. Finally, if you have not gotten a calendar, of the meetings for this semester, they can be found outside room A140. They can also be found on the Kirby Video Game Club website. Kirby will have an open house on January the 14th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. This is a chance for younger students to see what Kirby has to offer. Happy National Bird Day, Kirby. Now that here's your useless fact of the day. All swans in England are property of the queen. Here's a look at your forecast. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high near 46. Tonight will be cloudy with a low around 36. Wednesday will be cloudy with a high near 50. Wednesday night will be mostly cloudy with a low around 43. Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high near 62. Here's what's going on in the world of sports. Tomorrow, hus the Hustling Hounds and Lady Hounds versus McNeil. Hounds play at Kirby at 4 p.m. Lady Hounds play at McNeil at 4 p.m. Thursday, the Hustling Hounds. Play and Lady Hounds play. Hounds play at Kirby at 4 p.m. and the Lady Hounds play at Barwise at 4 p.m. Tomorrow the Hustle and Hounds C team will will be taking on McNeil here at Kirby at 4 p.m. The Lady Hounds C team will play at McNeil at 4 p.m. Thursday the Hustle and Hounds A team and B teams will take on Barwise here at Kirby at 4 p.m. The Lady Hounds A and B team will play at Barwise at 4 p.m. Now for a look at tomorrow's breakfast and lunch menus. For breakfast, you can get French toast sticks or cereal with orange juice or apples. On the lunch menu, pepperoni pizza or a ham and cheese sub. Side dishes are tater tots, baby carrots, and pineapple. That's a look at Wednesday's menus. Here's your word of the week, Kirby. Compare. It means to examine in order to note similarities and differences. To use in a sentence, he compared the apples and oranges. We need your news and events. If you have any information for the Kirby Report, there are three easy ways to get it to us. You can email it to shorts at wfisd.net, place it in Ms. Hortz's box in the office. We'll drop it off right here in room A140. 
That's it for the Kirby Report. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.